Hi everyone, I'm Diana Palm, The Love Witch, and today I want to talk to you about afterlife signs and symbols. Yes, I did a poll on YouTube and I asked all my subscribers what they would like to hear more of, and that's what you guys said, afterlife signs and symbols. You spoke and I listened. I want to create the content that you want to hear. I can teach you all about the afterlife because it's one of my favorite topics. I've been closely connected with spirit my entire life. I connect with individuals in private sessions through my website at www.dianapalm.com. But here on my YouTube channel, I'm happy to educate you what you should look for, how your loved ones in the afterlife may come through and give you signs and symbols, what those signs and symbols may mean. As most of you know, I recently moved to Phoenix and one of the very first things that occurred when we got here was I looked down at my doorstep and found one white feather. Now that may not seem like a really big thing, but ever since my little sister Mary died, she's been sending me one white feather at every new house I've lived in. And it's always the most important sign for me. Moving can be a very uncertain time and sometimes it's very scary financially, emotionally, there's a lot of things going on with a move. Either you're coming together with somebody and it's a happy event or you're breaking apart from somebody and it's more stressful and filled with anxiety and not being sure about the next step. So when I do make a move and I get my white feather, it immediately brings comfort to my heart. I know my sister's there. I know she's watching over me and I know that she's connected with helping me align with the next new home. So give me a heart below. Have you received white feathers from one of your loved ones in heaven? Give me a heart below if you have. I love the white feather and I don't run across white feathers very often. It's always at very specific times in my life when I really need that additional type of comfort and support. Of course, white feathers can be also associated with guardian angels. So if you're getting the white feathers and you haven't lost a loved one, it could be your guardian angels. I teach people also how to tune in with nature because spirit works through nature. Once our loved ones go to heaven, they're connected to everything around us. And it is very easy for them to tune in with nature and animals to bring forward signs to us. So sometimes people send me questions and they're like, well, I saw this weird thing when I was out on my nature walk. Is it really a sign? It's like they disbelieve it. And yes, you know what? Don't ever think that something's too crazy or too big for your loved one in spirit to do. Once they leave their physical body, they do become one with everything. They can move things like you wouldn't believe. They can work with the energy of trees, animals, clouds, the rain, anything. Nothing is too big or too small for them to work through, to bring you a message of love. And that's what it's all about. Your loved ones in heaven, they want you to know that they surround you, that they're with you, that they witness what's going on in your life. And they're so good at connecting with you, but you may still have to learn how to connect with them. The other day I decided to take a solo adventure and I went up to see Montezuma Castle. So it's a little road trip through the mountains. I had just gotten to the most beautiful mountain pass. It was absolutely stunning. I wanted to grab my camera and take pictures in every direction. But of course I'm going like 80 and the mountain pass and it's all windy so I didn't. <laughs> but it was so remarkable and I just felt this uplifting feeling of connectedness. And right at that moment, a huge hawk flew at my car and kind of turned on its side with its wings wide spread and then swooped up, stayed with my car for a few seconds and then off in the other direction it went. Hawk is actually my spirit totem. It's my spirit animal. Hawk has been with me for 25 years and Hawk is a very important spiritual messenger for me. Anybody who's ever spent time with me sees the Hawk. It's always circling around my head, my home, my car. But in this case, this one came so close and really wanted to invite me into the mountain pass and onto my journey and let me know that it was there with me in a very unusual way. I don't usually get them approaching me in that manner. And that's another thing. When animals approach you in an unusual manner, you can bet that it's a sign from one of your loved ones in heaven 
or one of your spirit guides. Sometimes we can also receive signs which seem much bigger than just from one loved one in heaven or one spirit guide or one angel where it's as if heaven literally embraces us and welcomes us into a new phase of our life or a new journey in our life. And that's what happened to my daughter and I when we moved to Phoenix. We had a long road trip cross country from Minnesota into Arizona. We drove through many rural areas that were not so pretty, nothing really interesting to look at. We had our cats with us. Punky was getting sick and vomiting. I was giving him CBD oil for cats, trying to comfort him. You know, we had a lot of stuff on our mind. This was a big move for us and it was uncertain because we did not have a job to go to. We were kind of throwing caution to the wind, counting on ourselves and our own resourcefulness once we got settled into our new home. So there was a lot of stuff going on around us. When people make that kind of a change in their life, they don't just do this willy nilly. I mean, there's a lot of things that lead up to it. And in my own personal life, I had gotten to that place. I had decided it was time for me to move. I knew I needed to expand. I desired to be back in the desert and back in the west part of the country. I had a lot of things in my heart that were calling to me. And I find that when I feel a very strong desire or a pull to something, if I don't do it, that's like me canceling my intuition. I, in the past, have put other people's needs there in front of mine. But this time I listened to it, even though it was big, even though it was scary, even though it was uncertain, I had that feeling inside of me. I had that feeling in my heart. I knew it was my next step, even though I didn't know anything about what that next step would look like. So it took a lot of faith. It took a tremendous amount of faith, actually. So we did it. And as we're driving cross country, a lot of insecurities and questions and concerns come up and you just want to make sure everything goes right. And then it happened. We're in pretty high altitude up in the mountains. And there was a part where we drove through with a big, huge windstorm. And I could see it was just loosening up the energy around us. The wind was blowing, the sand was blowing. It was decreased visibility because the sand was just all over the road. But we made it through that. So that was basically our welcoming into Arizona. And as we drew closer and closer to our destination, the most incredible thing happened. The sky was just dark and it looked like massive rain, just a big, huge rainstorm coming out of nowhere. It hovered over the mountain and for about two hours, we were headed straight for it. We're like, oh, here it comes. We're going to get stuck in the rain, you know, and we didn't know how severe the rain would be. The thing that made this so beautiful and so unusual was that right over the road, heading into Flagstaff and into our destination that would bring us to our new residence, the sky opened up and created this arc over the highway. And it wasn't something that was momentary. This lasted for at least an hour. And even though there were bends in the road, every single direction we pointed at as we were driving down the road, that arc of light was there. So even though everything else was black and ominous and dark and wild and windy, there was this amazing, beautiful opening within it. It looked like a portal in time. It looked like an opening to heaven. My daughter was driving in a separate car. She noted how important it was. I felt how important it was. And we just in awe fixated on it and stared at it. And we knew that somehow this was so relative to our journey. We knew that we were stepping through an actual portal into our new timeline, our next level life, a new way of being, a way of leaving everything behind that had been with us before, taking the lessons forward, taking the memories forward, of course, all the special things, but literally entering a phase that was new that was different that we hadn't done before. When the sky parted for us and just welcomed us, I felt this tremendous energy like all of heaven's angels, all my spirit guides, all my loved ones, everyone was lined up to invite us and bring us in. So I know I'm in my divine timing. Yes, these things are real. If you have experienced things like this, know that we can also receive signs from our divine timing from the universe, from all the angels in heaven. We are spiritual beings. We are a part of everything. And that's why when your loved ones pass and they become spirit again, 
they can maneuver many things within nature to bring forward messages of love for us. Nothing's too big and nothing's too small. There's something about receiving signs like that that's so comforting. It's not easy to make a big, huge change in your life, especially when you don't have anywhere for sure to go. You don't know people. You don't know about your finances. There's a lot of uncertainty. But I find that when I feel something in my heart and I just do it, I just somehow find the courage to do it. Everything works out. It doesn't mean that everything's perfect, but in the long run, everything works out. And I wanna kinda of leave you with that advice today because if you've been praying for something, if you've been wishing, dreaming, manifesting, trying to make changes, if you feel something in your heart, follow it. That is your direct link to the universe, to God, to source, to creator. It could be your loved ones speaking to you. It could be your angels speaking to you. It could be your spirit guides speaking to you. This is the part of you that connects you to your divinity and to everything around you. So please follow your heart. This is how you will stay connected to your loved ones in heaven and all the angels and all of the universe. Give me a heart below if you've been through a really moving, miraculous experience that just seemed so astronomical that you could not identify who it was sent from. Let me know that down in the comments below. I love to hear your inspirational stories and it's important for other people to hear them too because they are not unusual. They can happen in your life. Keep an eye open for them, ask for the signs and symbols, and you will receive them. If you would like to know more about the afterlife and the spirit world, signs and symbols, and connecting with those in heaven, be sure you check out my books. Setting Spirits Free will help you be able to connect with your loved ones, to discern spiritual energies, and even be able to cross over spirits that are earthbound. Then I have Mediumship Scrying and Transfiguration for Beginners, which will help you to develop your sight for seeing spirits. It's got tons of fun experiments in there for scrying in different ways. Scrying with oil, scrying with fire, scrying with clouds. But the most important one is scrying to see your loved one. I also have a new book that's called I Don't Know How to Let Them Go, Spiritually Guiding Loved Ones Through Death and the Afterlife. And it's a phenomenal book that will really help you if you recently lost a loved one or if you have a loved one who's nearing their end of life. If you're a caregiver, if you're helping out with the will and with the funeral, and if you're wondering about the spirit world and what your loved one's going through when they transition and how you can understand their life and death process in a really deeply healing and spiritual way, be sure you get that book. They're all on Amazon. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I can't wait to help you all manifest the life and the love you deserve.